As ever at this time, we're talking international papers. One guess, what's the big headline around the world? Of course, it's uh, the Greece, that referendum scheduled for Sunday, uh, and the uh, terms of the bailout. The though. terms of the bailout. Now, of course, as you can imagine, the uh, Greek drama, debt drama, is a huge story in Greece. Uh, let's take a look at the front pages today, starting with uh, a paper that's very close to Alexei Tsipras's government. This is Avgi. Now, Tsipras has called on Greeks to vote no in the referendum that's scheduled for Sunday and has said that he'll step down if the country votes yes. So you can see here on the front page, Ohi, so that means no, or elections. Ephimerida Tonsitekton, that's a center-left paper, uh, also has a photo of Tsipras on the front page. I will not let myself be humiliated. You can see him there talking on TV yesterday. Tenea, that's a center-left paper as well focuses on how all this is really starting to affect Greeks across the country. The government has stopped handing out money. Uh, now, the centrist paper, Ethnos, also talks about uh, anxiety for pensioners. Very so, well, exact same photo as the photo on uh, Tanea, a protester uh, there. And Katy Marini, the center-right paper, says that there are signs that the country is starting to become unplugged. The European leaders, uh, meanwhile, warning really that a no on Sunday does mean Greece will be uh, right out of the euro. That's right, the Grexit. Uh, if we take a look at the front page of the Wall Street Journal today, they talk about this uh, pressure coming from Europe. Europe warns Greeks of the risk of this no vote. Now, the Greek finance minister, Yanis Varoufakis, uh, has given an interview to The Telegraph that's getting quite a lot of attention because he says that Greece could seek an injunction at the European Court of Justice. You can see here... The Telegraph saying that Greece is threatening top court action to block this uh, Grexit. To quote uh, the interview he gave to The Telegraph, he says, The EU treaties make no provision for a euro exit and we refuse to accept it. Our membership is not negotiable. Now, uh, what's interesting is this Greek drama has become quite a soap opera. We've heard the uh, the running joke about this, my big fat Greek divorce instead of my big fat <laughs> Greek wedding. Yeah. Uh, Le Soir, the Belgian paper today also, talks about this in a very soap opera way. How did we get to this point? It sounds a lot like a very bitter breakup there with, uh, of course, you can see the uh, European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker and the Greek Prime Minister there, Alexis Tsipras. And perhaps not surprisingly, the Greek debt drama also, um, well, it's kind of rather a field day, isn't it, for cartoonists? You've Absolutely. pulled out a few. I've just pulled out a, a selection. There are many very interesting cartoons. Often cartoons describe the situation much better than articles do, mm. I find. So uh, this is the article, uh, the cartoon rather, from uh, The Independent today. You can see uh, Tsipras trying to break into the Eurobank with a crowbar there, but I don't know if you can make it out, but the, the, the ATM is actually Angela Merkel, and she's <laughs> clamping down very hard on her jaw there. Also, a very good cartoon in Katimerini, the English language version uh, of the uh, Greek paper online. Uh, you can see a newscaster there in the TV saying, where is the ball? Uh, the lenders say it's in the Greek court. court. Uh, Tsipras says it's in the lenders court. And you can see that huge tennis ball there crushing uh, a, a poor Greek uh, viewer there saying, can you hear me? The ball is right here. It's crushing. Essentially, it's crushing Greek people. Now, Greece, of course, uh, not the only place drowning in debt. Puerto Rico's governor has said the island is in a death spiral. That's right. Uh, U.S. papers are calling Puerto Rico uh, America's Greece. Uh, and you can read all about those details in the Washington Post today. Uh, groaning, uh, Puerto Rico is groaning under at least $73 billion in debt. So quite a lot of money. And the man you can see there is the Puerto Rico governor, Alejandro Garcia Padilla, yesterday he appealed to Washington to make unprecedented concrete changes in bankruptcy rules uh, to actually help rescue Puerto Rico's finances. So you can see here Washington Post talking about how he's urging the U.S. to help save Puerto Rico from default. Very interesting, though, uh, another article in The New York Times that says that beyond Greece, beyond Puerto Rico, lots of countries are struggling with major debt loads. Uh, and uh, according to this article, in, in recent years, central banks around the world have spent huge amounts of money. They've spent about $10 trillion to try and stimulate their economies. But you can see here, it says that even though the, all these trillions have been spent, these crises still keep happening. There's some problems that money just can't solve. And according to this article, all this high borrowing is also bog bogging down other pretty strong economies like Brazil, Turkey, Italy, and even China.
And uh, stateside as well, papers also focusing on the Supreme Court's decision to legalise gay marriage nationwide. That's right. Now, some papers are, are very happy about uh, this decision, uh, especially left-wing paper papers, it must be said. If we take a look at the New York Times, there's a cartoon by Chapat which applauds this decision. You can see a, a gay couple here celebrating their recent wedding here. Not it does On the back of their car, it says, not just married, but just recognised. Mm. But as you can imagine, some papers aren't so happy about this a Supreme Court decision, particularly conservative papers. The editorial of the Wall Street Journal today wonders, is this really a decision that will lead to a more perfect union? This, uh, According to this article, the, the Supreme Court's decision is a triumph for gay rights activists, but it's not a triumph for democracy. It would have been better, according to this article, if uh, all this had been settled by people and politicians, essentially democracy, rather than a judicial decree, according to this editorial. This decision really sets a dangerous precedent for other social matters in the United States. Now, what's interesting is the court's decision on gay marriage came just a day after the Supreme Court upheld a key portion of the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare. Uh, it's been a very rough week for Republicans, according to a lot of papers. I pulled out a cartoon, uh, once again, from the Washington Post, where you can see an elephant. So the elephant is the symbol of the Republican Party. Looking pretty beat up here with a little crutch there. So, oh. and, and it's he, that yeah. elephant, poor, pitiful looking elephant, is, yeah. is headed towards the emergency room. This cartoon says that the anti Obamacare strategy that the Republicans tried to put in place, well, clearly didn't work. <laughs> a real cartoon fest uh, paper review there from Flo. As you say, it does often describe the situation better, though, don't it? Flo Villeneuve on France 24.